Mac user usually. Got it. Okay. Um, so you can hear me okay, and you all can see the screen, the Inclusively homepage? Yes, it looks okay. great. Thanks. Thank you. Um, thank you all so much for giving me the um, chance to present to you and for the students attending and um, everyone else, I think, from you know different roles at the university. I had planned on, um, sh if there are questions, for, if there are any employers on the call or anyone else that's um, looking to hire students, I'll have to, um, I'll give you all a chance to ask questions too at the end. Hmm. I think somebody might. Give me just yeah. a moment while I mute someone. Did that, um, I think that got it. Thank you. Perfect, thanks. Well, welcome you all. Um, I'm really excited to share inclusively as a tool with you. Um, this platform was designed um, as uh, the, the founder, Charlotte Dales, who lives in Richmond, Virginia now, had um, she had already kind of looked, she, I guess the sort of the backstory really was inspired by her cousin. So it's a personal connection to thinking about how we can change um, the hiring process generally um, to help employers and workplaces uh, find um, those that really, you know, fit the job best and just connect people based on their human interests and abilities and skills to how they can do their best work. And so we think that, you know, um, for a lot of times, the, a lot of companies have applicant tracking systems and have different hiring methods and practices that um, have helped them to try to be efficient as a company. But a lot of times people get, um, you know, weeded out based on maybe a gap in their resume or a different aspect of looking at their career or education or processes that we think are, are excluding plenty of talented, really interesting um, candidates. And so the whole idea behind inclusively is to bring an inclusive pipeline of talent and of candidates to employers who are thinking also about um, how to hire inclusively and how to build diverse teams that drive innovation and that really build better camaraderie and um, a better workplace within their companies. And those, so all of the companies that we're working with, we partner with um, specifically uh, sort of directly with their hiring managers. And so there are a lot of job platforms out there that um, also aggregate just jobs, pulling them from around different companies, uh, platforms on the internet and ho host them in one place. But what that lacks then is any connection to the employer to actually learn about who they're hiring and why and look at their process and help them to really drive more diverse hiring instead of all just kind of looking for the same profiles for the same skill sets um, that ends up leaving a lot of people out. And so um, we started off uh, a couple of years ago, actually right at August, uh, I think it was the 26th, which was the 30th anniversary of the founding of the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act. Um, and partly because John Kemp, one of the founders of that, of the law was, um, is one of our deep, you know, close advisors and a deep uh, friendship of, or a friend of Charlotte who founded our company. Um, and so they wanted to think together about how um, we could build kind of a marketplace where basically, you know, students or those that are looking for a job come to us looking and we connect them with employers that we know are looking for them. So that's sort of the, the background to let you all know as students that based on whatever experience it is that you have as you're learning about yourself and how you learn best, how you work best, um, we want to set you up for success and the employers that we're working with understand that they want to look at uh, you as a human being with your interests and talents and whatever your needs are in the workplace and set you up for success. That they understand that having um, a diverse set of employees in their company helps to, um, like what I just said, helps to build kind of um, a deeper sense of, of commitment and of, of innovation and just different perspectives breed new kinds of thinking. And so that's really valuable to all of our employers. We have about 50 employers on the site now, and I'll, I'll show you where you can find who the um, companies are that we're working with. Um, but let me get started here looking at this. This is the home page. So you just go to www.inclusively, which is spelled up here, I-N-C-L-U-S-I-V-E-L-Y.com. And so this is where you would sign up as a student. If you're, when, once you're starting to, well, actually now, so even while you're still a student, to get a feel for what kinds of jobs are on the platform and how you might work with Samantha or with another um, career counselor at ACC, whatever part of the university you're in. Um, we have three different platforms on our site. So one is for students and job seekers. I'll show you here. So when you go to sign up on the Inclusively homepage, 
you'll see three options to register. All of you would sign up as job seekers, the students. This is also just so that you know, a free, it'll always be free to any students or job seekers. It will also always be free to any career counselors or anyone working with you, even a family member. If you're say parent or sibling or friend or someone else that you might be working with uh, wants to work alongside you and help with your resume and job applications and track with you, they can sign up as what we call an advocate. And that's also, Samantha's already signed up as an advocate and so she's, using the platform to work with students. So you would sign up here as a job seeker, entering your name and email information and how you learn about us. Here you could choose, um, I think other probably would be the best option um, and then write in um, Austin Community College here. I acknowledge this is a platform for people with disabilities. So we have this checkbox here so that anyone who's signing up knows that this platform is particularly designed to drive more employment for those that have lots of times been excluded from the workforce based on kind of all different reasons that employers haven't understood what it uh like they're looking for something specific which has kind of marginalized different communities and so we're trying to open like part of what our working with um with the companies directly on is that they're always trained when we first work together with a company we help kind of we start off asking them how they think about their employees and their workplace and what an inclusive workplace or community looks like, and then how they think about their employees. And do we have a training for them on just best practices around communication and helping to think through if you have um, an employee that needs a certain kind of workspace and they need quiet, maybe interrupted, uninterrupted time, or you know, thinking about when someone maybe has a visual impairment and they need to use a screen reader or different kinds of things that I'll, I'll show you later in the platform. We help train them on what it is to just be more open-minded and tuned in to who their employees are to set them up for success. Um, and so we never ask you as a job seeker or a student to uh, uh, disclose a disability necessarily, or you know, if that doesn't, if you don't feel comfortable, but we also want you to know that this platform and all the employers who are working with us are actually trying to drop, they're really looking for people with different disabilities because they value the different experiences and perspectives you offer. So that's just to say, this is where you sign up and um, the it's similar for advocates. If there are other career counselors from ACT on the call now or employers, you would choose employer or advocate. And either one that would, if you were an employer, would fill out the form with your job title, company industry, and that would go straight to our sales team where they would get you set up um, with what kind of platform it would be. Um, or an advocate like Samantha is signed up as, if you were not with an advocate organization, say you're a friend or a parent or, or you're just an individual counselor or something, you don't have to put an organization name. Otherwise you put an ACC here and maybe the number of students that you work with. We call students or job seekers candidates within our platform because as soon as you create an account, you, um, you're then a candidate for all the jobs that we have. So I'm gonna take you um, next to um, one that I've already signed in on. Let's see, so you can see the student experience make sure this is the advocate experience and I'll show you that too but let's go to a student so once you sign in and you check your email uh, you'll have a link to verify your, your um, account let me just reduce the this one I'm going to move it over a little bit and so then you'd go in here if anyone has a question while I'm speaking I really invite you to um, to stop me and ask if you I don't know or or Trish we can do it at the end but if, if people are muted by by moderator um, but I can't, if I'm going to share the screen, I might not see like a hand raise or something. So. Sure. Anyone who has any questions can ask in the chat at any time. And you're also welcome to unmute your mic if you have a question as we're going along. Thank you, Trish. So once you sign in uh, and you click the link in your email, it'll take you to the candidate dashboard. And that's where you, I think the first place it'll take you actually when you first sign in is here to your profile. And it'll get you started in kind of telling inclusively a little bit about yourself. Um, but as I said, similar to other, um, you might have used Indeed before or um, um, I'm trying to think Monster or some of the other um, different sites that are for if you've been looking for a job or maybe a search engine. But if you ever used one where you have to create a profile, there's some aspects that are similar. You can have a chance to put in a photo, you put in your contact information here. And then the next thing that we'll need you to, uh, to fill out you can't actually, when you first sign up as a, as a student or a job seeker, 
this will prompt you to at least put in some information. So you can't totally skip this section and go straight to looking for jobs because our platform is designed so that what you put in in your profile is already visible to, to employers. And we have an algorithm that powers our site that will rank you based on your um, experience and skills and the success enablers, which I'll explain, any accommodations you need, so what makes you who you are. All of that will be taken into account to match with, and when I say rank, I should probably use a different word, but it is all about matching you with what's needed for a certain job. And so if you, based on who you are and your skill set and your education and your interests, are a good candidate for a job based on the algorithm, you'll be recommended to the employer. And so you'll come into their inbox as uh, a top candidate for their job. So you always wanna put in your profile as soon as you sign up or as quickly as you can, some of the, um, you know, a statement about what you're interested in for your professional bio, your work experience, and all this obviously is a, an example account. So Jane Job Seeker, we can imagine is a student and she's not yet put in her professional bio. So I should probably put in a couple sentences. Her work experience, so start some part of this part you'll probably recognize. An affiliation, we're actually going to change this to be an advocate section so that if you're connected to Samantha, if you're connected to an ACC career counselor, you'll be able to tag them here. But as of right now, I think you can, you can choose. This is some of the workforce development uh, programs we've worked with. So this is kind of, you can probably ignore that for now because it's literally, I think this week or next, it'll be changed. Um, a skills. So if you add in here, this is just, you can type in any certifications you've received, any of just any way you would describe your skills so that our algorithm can pick that up and match you to the, the corresponding job and your education from ACC or any other, um, you know, ed education. We're going to add in a section for, uh, you could say I currently attend, but if you've just done some part towards a degree, um, right now we don't have just some as an option, but you could write it in your skills instead. Um, but if you've completed any sort of a degree or certification, you can put it in there. And then the success enablers. So this, I'm going to click on the question mark here. This explains that we call, this is in your candidate profile, success enablers are workplace accommodations that allow you to filter your jobs with specific needs in mind. So you can list in your profile, which uh, workplace accommodations would really help you do your job best. And that's part of what will match you to the right job. Um, giving you the ability to search and interview with confidence. Because we think that if you know who you are, and I'll give you an example of why, um, that then you'll be better, you, you will find the job that really fits who you are. Um, when you're su su selecting a success enabler, please only select accommodations that you would request from an employer as necessary to do your job. So, and these are the little icons that'll show up, that'll kind of tell you what the different success enablers are. So here are the examples. Remote work is our number one requested success enabler. So if you know that uh, you, you're really only interested in doing remote work for whatever reason, you know, if it's physical, if it's something that, you know, goes with your experience, but that will um, be, if you, tag, if you tag this, it's really, I think it won't filter out all the jobs that might be local and in person, but it will rank them as much lower in your results when you search for jobs. Um, accessible building. If you need any sort of accessible um, parking, knobs, toilets, so all this has to do with sort of mobility in your physical body. If you need accessible accessible features, um, accessible devices um, that you would be working with in the workplace or uh, at home, um, an accessible work environment, so in person or um, something that you could ask for. But I had tagged on this example, flexible schedule, because that's part of um, if this, for this example of Jane Job Seeker, that was really important to her, um, air quality. You can go through these and what we really advocate is for you to work with someone like Sam or a career counselor and kind of talk through with them what you think would really help you and is worth uh, putting on your profile because I'll show you where it'll show up for employers to see. But this is where you could, you could do behavioral modification techniques, reasonable breaks. All of this is part of what inclusively is trying to change in, and it's a larger cultural shift, but for employers to really learn how best to set their candidates up for a great career. Um, and so I've tagged a number of these, but you may want to only tag a couple or none, um, but it's a chance for you to, to kind of communicate to the employer what your needs are, knowing that they're prepared to, um, to support you. 
interview preferences. So this is specifically related to the interview. When you first set it up, if you would like certain accommodations like extra time on the interview, you know, more than 30 minutes if, uh, if you need that for processing, getting the information or the questions ahead of time, um, you need a screen reader during the interview or a sign language interpreter. Those are things you can ask for, as well as you know any others you might wanna write down here. You can check the box. I'm not requesting any time of day, this kind of thing. And then job preferences. This is where you set up in your profile what, uh, if you're actively looking right now, if you're willing to relocate, this is the, the job category means sort of the sector or skill type. So I had selected just these two, computer IT and customer service for this demo, but you could select all of them or none of them or just a couple areas, depending on what you're interested in. Job type means sort of the, the um, schedule and contract. So you could look for internships. You could actually look for apprenticeships and training programs, which we'll be, we'll be listing a lot more as we partner with more and more programs here. Um, for kind of entry into certain career fields or regular full-time, contract, part-time, whatever works for you. You always save that. And Megan, and then, there is a question that came in the, the chat oh, okay. box. They're asked, uh, John uh, is asking if the platform's tied to federal, state, and municipal jobs. Are, are these included in the platform? Are these some oh, of the partners? You Thank you, John. Um, right now we are working we have about, I'll show you the company direct, directory. We have mostly companies now, but we're having, the city of Chicago has partnered with us to hire. Um, and a lot of the um, VR organizations in departments of rehabilitation and other government agencies have come and we're curious, but we're probably, I'd say in the next six months, we've doubled our team size. And so we're looking to bring on all kinds of employers. Um, so it's not set to be entirely commercial. It's just kind of uh, the timing of how we bring on more employers. And part of that is, um, you know, uh, focusing on the commitment of the employers that we're, we, our sales process and in, in onboarding them is just to, to kind of walk through making sure that they're committed in these different ways, committed to accessibility, to all of that. Thank you. Pura Vida. I like it. <laughs> um, so, um, then let me just show you quickly going back to the profile in the experience section. So in this section where you list your work experience and these aspects, you can upload your own resume. If you've already put one together as a doc or PDF up to 10 megabytes. And um, later we're gonna be adding, I don't know if it'll be by this summer, but we are building a video um, introduction possibility so that if you communicate better by video and you think that you'd represent yourself much better, maybe you're really creative or, you know, what it is that you'd like to communicate would be better, better represented that way. We're going to have a, I think, I don't know if it's 20 seconds or more, but um, some aspect of a video possibility, but not quite yet. And then you can see here with the, where this I is, view as an employer. This whole, whole section on experience is also ends up getting pulled to serve as a cover letter for your um, or kind of a, a standard inclusively resume. It's not popping up and it may be because my boyfriend's pop-ups are blocked. Let me just see. Um, let's see, I think it might do it now. Yeah, here it comes. Okay, so Jane Job Seeker. So with the information that she's put in so far, it has her email, her contact information. This is all what the employer is gonna see. As soon as they go in your student profile, they'll see your success enablers. So you can see I had listed a lot for her. So there are a lot that appear here. Some of them are overlapping. So I'd work with your, uh, your career counselor or just think through what you think is the most important for employer to know about you. So this might be a little much to put on there because some of them you might just wanna talk about with the employer um, if it's something more like remote work and why that's important to you or um, you know, a uh, flexible schedule or something like that. Affiliations there you'll have later it will say advocate, Austin Community College, and then the person's name, if you're working with someone there or whoever your advocate is, and then job preferences, all this information you've, you've created in your profile. And then on the second page, if you have um, entered more information for experience, you know, your work experience, this part will be fleshed out more like a resume with your interview press preferences and your education. And then if I put in a resume, if I'd already uploaded a resume, the resume would follow here, right after this cover letter, um, instead of this, second page with education and experience, your own resume would show up. So you can personalize a little bit more. And to get out of this section, you just close out of that window. And then um, I'm gonna show you quickly up here, 
in companies. Up at the top, you have home, jobs, company, and community. It was kind of, let's see if I can move this box. I think I can, yeah. Um, so you can always go to any of these options from your dashboard, your, your profile. The company directory, just to, so you can see, here are some of the companies we're working with. Accenture has been a great partner. They have, I think, 5,000 jobs listed with us. Um, and we're, we're really encouraging every employer we work with to list all the jobs that they have with us and then to think through how best to be most inclusive with each of those roles. Um, these are some of the companies so that you're aware, but you can go in and play around at each employer. You'll see if you click on an employer's name, you'll see their employer um, profile page, which will tell you, I mean, most of these companies, some you'll know, some will be smaller. And we're obviously working, we have about, uh, I don't know, 60 in the pipeline right now to onboard uh, and many more prospects um, that have reached out to us. And it just depends on the sales cycle and how quickly you know we integrate with their, their own HR practices and how we can make sure it's accessible. So there's some parts that do take some time. Now this company, each company will also show you what success enablers they've already uh, made progress towards or they've already worked with candidates on in their workplace. So Microsoft's already familiar with, uh, you know, they've already provided accessible buildings, devices, all of these different things that you see, um, they're, they're currently working on. Inclusive services will also show up for some of these employers. And if they belong to a network that, that rates you on um, your disability uh, equality or your um, nobility as you all I might know is in Austin and they do a lot of user testing and, and accessibility auditing. So some of the Microsoft belongs to a few of these networks. Purple is a, a company for hearing uh, and, and sign language interpretation, um, assistive technologies. But if a company is really, they're very committed to this area and to making progress, you'll see some of the things that they work on. And we're trying to build this out all the time to encourage them to offer more and more solutions for, for um, employee experience. And then below the profile of the company, you'll see all their jobs. So you could go in here, I think um, these, I don't, uh, usually it has a view all button. So I'll have to see if we moved that or something or if it's on a different section. But the other way to get to it, I'll show you is in the job search. So I'm gonna go back on my browser um, just so you can see, I'm back to the company directory. Now I'm gonna go up to jobs. So once you can do this, you could potentially sign in and just put a couple little things in your profile so that you have something in there and get to the jobs page. But I really encourage you, and we'll send you a reminder follow-up email to fill in your profile as completely as you can. And you can always update it and work with a career counselor on it. But um, because you'll be visible to employers, you wanna, as soon as possible, have it be accurate so they can contact you and find you if you're a great fit for a role. Um, in this jobs page. So as soon as you get to jobs, you have all these filters uh, that you can go by. Job companies or keywords. Here is the category. So here's where you would select. Some are gonna already be selected because I start, I put them in my profile. And so this search is gonna save your original settings from your profile, but you can change it if you want. If I wanted to do select all, or then, you know, and look at every job there is and for a certain company say, do that or clear all, excuse me. Or, um, or I'm gonna go back to just keep what I just had so we can see what comes up um, in Austin. So save and close. The companies that come up, you know, you can um, filter through, clear all or select all or whatever. So you'll see them that way. Or is the inclusive services. It says it's in beta mode because we're continuing to build this so that it's more and more valuable to you all. If, if there are things that you really wanna know that an employer is working on and cares about, we wanna be able to show you that. And um, obviously at any time, you know, I'll, I'll say this later, but any um, feedback you will have as, as, as students or job seekers um, to make this work better for you, we always wanna know. We're you know, a year and a half in since live. And um, so we're continuing to improve all the time. This success enablers is the button I just went to. And so this in your search option, you can also go in and edit this. So you have it as part of your profile, but you can also change it for a specific search. So let's say I'm gonna leave this untoggled. So we're going to have remote and um, and uh, in-person as job options. So I put in Austin, Texas, 25 mile radius with, let's see, experience level. Right now I've put entry and job type. I've put internship and regular full-time. I'll put um, apprenticeship and I'll put um, 
temporary full-time, just in case you can see some options. The companies that show up are 20 different companies for this search that I've done just now. So this, this part's blank until you kind of slightly click on an option. All your options will show up here on the left and then the, the bigger, the detailed view is here. If I want, if I say that I'm looking at this, you all might know of the, some of these Charles Schwab programs that are in Austin, but this is a, um, the NERD program is, uh, I think it's a year or it might be two years long. It'll say, I'm sure on the job description. Um, but this is a really interesting program. We've had a lot of success with different candidates applying here um, to get an intro and um, intro to sort of Charles Schwab. This is um, starting, let's see, an undergrad. If you're enrolled in undergraduate or degree program in one of these areas with the graduation date. So this is just an example of one of the programs that's sort of an entry into that career path. Um, but if I wanted to apply, this is just an example. I click on any job. I could save the job here, clicking on this little ribbon. And that then later, if I want to see what I saved, where you find it is up on your, if you click on your picture or your, it'll have a little icon, uh, silhouette of a person, then you can go down to, to say connected jobs or save jobs. We call them connected jobs because we say connect here. So if I want to apply to this job, I'd hit connect. And um, so then it's going to ask me, let's make sure we have the right info. So you have all of your contact information and then you click this acknowledge I'm, this is a platform with people with disabilities. And then Charles Schwab and a few of our other employers uh, require additional information for their, to integrate with their system. And so that's what you would like to update. This is one dollar, this is one dollar. Stand, Stand it. Everyone can mute their microphones, please. I didn't catch that Thank one fast you. enough. Thank you. That's okay, that's okay, no worries. Um, I just wanna make sure you didn't have a question. So some of them, I think there are four or five on our site that because of the way their HR is set up, they, they do need answers to a couple different questions. Let's see if I can show you. So they're going to ask you to check off uh, any of your areas of interest. Uh, are you willing to relocate? Would you like to receive weekly job notifications about Charles Schwab jobs and your expected graduation date? So that's not too many questions. Some of the other ones have a couple more and we're working on, um, you know, features. So if someone's, you know, um, would like to be called to do these questions, or if there's something, you know, that this is a little more work than your, you know, whatever it is to, that to, would help you actually apply, we can work through that in terms of accessibility. So I'm going to go back so that I don't actually apply because this is a, a live job, but the, you would hit send at the end, and then you'll just get a notification that you've applied and that the employer will contact you if you're a good fit for the job. So you won't necessarily hear back from an employer about every job you apply for, only if you're a good candidate and they want like a, a good match. You're always a good candidate, but they will um, set you up for an interview next. If you're working with an advocate also, like with Sam or with someone else at ACC, you, um, the next step for us, I think in the next couple of weeks is that an employer will have your advocate's information. The advocate's information will also be on your, um, the cover page of your resume for the employer to see. And so they'll contact the two of you together. So if you want your advocate to be involved in the conversations, you need the extra support for your interview, um, the employer will have their information as well. Um, so that is how you would connect to a job. Um, community up here at the top, I'm just gonna show you one other feature. This is in kind of a beta mode now. It's, it's been live and it, we have a lot of different um, conversations to be a part of and resources to learn from. Uh, over the summer, this is gonna be fleshed out with a lot more resources um, for you all to learn about training programs and different career um, opportunities. Um, but for now, as a candidate, you would go in, take a look at the different topics, and then you can get notified when there are new posts in certain areas. So for example, this career development and upskilling. You can see I, as that the demo candidate, I'm already following it. So in her profile, she gets notifications about this area, but career development and upskilling, you know, this is, um, so this is a candidate posting. This is, this community involves candidates. Employers can post here to say, we're offering this new internship program, or, you know, we're looking for candidates for this job. Um, and advocates can post and share information about new programs they know of, or tips on building your resume. Um, you know, so some candidates, so it's a part of this is a discussion. It depends on which one. So this is Susan from a program in Florida, but that's virtual. Um, that's an IT um, 
uh, coding program. I think it's a yeah, six month virtual program. So some of our advocates or training programs will also post. Um, so interview resume tips, candidate resources. Um, this will turn into basically a library for lots of different things for you all to uh, find to, to help work on resumes um, and, and all different aspects of your search. Um, I'm gonna pause there and just see right now while you all are kind of looking, does anybody have any questions? Um, you can keep thinking. So this is, I've just gone back to the homepage. You can see inclusively.com and then the dashboard up here. So um, you'll see the connected jobs. So any of the ones you've applied to will co come here, save jobs will appear here. And then any of the community updates, they'll, I think they'll have a little purple dot when there's a new one. I wanted to call your attention also, let me just move this box to um, up here at the right. So in your candidate dashboard, Whenever you see, this is your messages feature. So once you're connected to, um, if you, I'll show you the process from an advocate. When you connect to, you have a chance as a candidate to work with an advocate, which I mentioned is it could be a career counselor. It could be someone, um, you know, a behavioral counselor. It could be, uh, you know, a friend or just anyone who might be tracking with you and helping you in your job search. You can message together. Um, they need to contact, they need to look for you as a candidate, a job seeker in the platform and they'll request to connect to you. And right here, you'll get a notification and it'll also come to you by email that'll say, Samantha from ACC or whoever it is, request to connect to you. And you click uh, accept. So I'm gonna show you what an example of what that looks like real quick. Let's see. I'm view all messages. <clears throat> Let's see. Do a new job to check out. Let's see if I can get to the request. Oh, I guess it'll come, sorry, it'll come as a notification instead. So this was the one with the, the, the um, bubble, speech bubble here is messages, the bell is notifications. And so some of the examples of notifications are, let's see, this Jane job seeker student is already working with Megan smith Gall, the advocate from Inclusively. And so whenever, uh, I'll explain this part, let's just get to, um, uh, let's see, if I can click on all of them at once. Um, I think it's going down a month at a time. So I'll go back, I'll find out from our tech team if, it, if we can scroll back further or if it's gonna come up as a window like this messages does. But when, an ad, when you connect to an advocate, if you accept the request in the, um, in the mailbox, you'll be working together, which means that they have a chance as an advocate to go into your profile or see the jobs you've connected with. Um, they could even apply to a job on your behalf um, but they could make changes to your success enablers if you've talked about it. But by connecting to an advocate, you're giving them permission to make changes to your profile. Um, like, like I said, connect to jobs, but all of this you'll be notified about if they ever do anything in your profile. So I'm connected, let's say, as Jane Job Seeker to two different advocates from Inclusively, Susie and Megan. And so whenever either of them has made a change to my profile, maybe a typo or an edit, or they've tagged remote work when I forgot to, and they went in and helped me do this, I'll get notified. If she applies to a job or she's removed the resume that I put in so that I'll upload my new one, this will keep track of that. And then the messaging feature will show you, I'm going to go back. I think I already did get here. This is the mailbox. So all the messages from the past you and that advocate will show up on the left. And for right now, you can only connect to advocates to message unless you're setting up for an interview, an employer has chosen you and, and they're gonna um, send you a message to you and your advocate together. That'll also show up here in your mailbox. For now, you'll get an email um, and you'll always get an email as a reminder, but it'll be here in your mailbox later. So these are some of the messages just as examples. An advocate can share a job with you so if Megan smith from Inclusively shared a job with me, I can click on that link and go to that job and see it. Um, and she can send me a message to tell me more about the job or what she thinks I ought to include in my resume when I apply. Um, and then I can connect to that job. I'm gonna scroll back so we can go back to the mailbox. Um, and if I'm working with two advocates at once, say two, two career counselors, one in my specific area, um, in engineering, say, or in a specific de um, department, and maybe one in that is a career counselor, uh, just as an example, then like the three of us could be on a chat together talking about a job or something that I need to do. Um, 
you can share files here. You can attach, I think, a doc or a PDF um, or an image file. Um, and um, if an advocate connects to a job on your behalf, you'll get notified immediately uh, about that. And same messaging, if an employer thinks you're a good fit for that job, they will connect you. They will, excuse me, they will contact you. Um, I was gonna show you an example of what some of the, um, the messaging looks like for um, the candidates, just so you know kind of what will appear in your mailbox. Let's see. Um, here's one. So, hello, Jessica. Please be aware that an advocate has made changes to your candidate profile and inclusively, which include modifications to your success enabler. So this is just, you get the notification in the platform and you'll also get this email. Um, let's see if this is, this is another one. Um, this is over the garden wall. So this, this is somebody from a certain organization that they're working with has requested to be your advocate and manage your profile. By granting permission to the advocate to manage your profile, you're, uh, they'll be able to modify your profile, including your success enablers, your interview preferences, blah, blah, blah. Let me just tell you real quick too, that in your candidate profile, you can always revoke access. If you don't wanna work with an advocate anymore, or let them have permission to do these things for whatever reason. In account settings, this is where when you get that first email, do you wanna to connect to this advocate? It, the link in your email will take you here and you see um, advocate permissions. And this is where you'll press a purple button that'll say accept for grant access. You can always revoke access and, and stop working with a candidate, or excuse me, an advocate. Um, so let's see, I'm just going to show you real quick um, anything else that you can expect. Um, it, once you've connected to a role, you'll get an email that'll say, thank you for connecting to this position, blah, 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 whatever company. Um, your connection's been shared with Inclusively, who will review your profile. And, and it says Inclusively here because this was a job at Inclusively, but it, the employer will review your profile and contact you. Um, let's see, another one. This is probably what you'll get. If you sign in as a student and you don't fill out your profile, you'll get a couple of reminders from us saying, it's missing some important information. Please sign in and complete your profile to help employers find candidates like you. Um, because we really, um, that's really important for our employers to sort of see you accurately really reflected. Um, I think that one was about um, permission, an advocate, when they, when they request to connect to you, if you're signed in, you'll get a message there. Otherwise it'll be in your email. And then these are some examples of messages. So just wanted to show you what that looked like. And for anybody like Sam, who's in the advocate role, who's on the call, let me just show you quickly um, that uh, profile. Um, and then I can, I can definitely, uh, I'll respond to any questions that you all have. Uh, I wanna be conscious of time. Um, but and when you sign in as an advocate, this is what somebody at ACC, I have the example here inclusively, but it'll sign in with your name. This, you'll have a, a mailbox will be zero at first because you won't yet be connected to any candidates. But once you connect, your candidates will show up here. And again, candidates are students or anybody looking for a job. So anybody that you're working with will show up here and that means you can click on them and see their profile. Uh, you'll have this envelope on, icon, which will let you send them a message. You can download their, their profile, like I showed you, uh, shows you the resume, the, the standard format an employer will see, or you can manage their profile. And by clicking manage profile, this is where I as an advocate have access to go in as if I'm the candidate. And it, you'll always see this big flag banner up here. I'm currently managing, so I'm in edit mode. And I can change, um, just like I'm the candidate, it, make any, um, any edits I could, if she sent me the resume and, and you needed me to do it for her, I can uh, upload the resume here. So all of the different functionality that the candidate has, you as an advocate have, and then you just click done. Um, and also, if you were in that candidate's profile, you could go up to jobs, just like the candidate does, find the job, and you would click, um, if you're in managing mode, you could, you could click connect like a candidate would, and that would be you applying on their behalf. Otherwise, if I'm just doing it right here as an advocate and I'm not in the managing mode, then if I go to the job search page and let's say these are recently added companies, let's say I'm interested in Honeycomb or these saved jobs. As an advocate, you can also save jobs. And so let's say I, I looked at them before, but I didn't have time to do it right then. 
I can go to one of these save jobs. And I can share it with my candidate here with this share button. So when I'm managing an, a candidate, acting like a candidate, this will say connect. But when you're an advocate, you can only just share. And then this is where the advocates notifications are. So if Jane Job Seeker has saved a job, I'll know. It'll tell me the platform. If Sarah, another candidate I'm working with, has connected to a job, I'll see that. Um, I can see if somebody in the community portal liked one of my posts. I can see, um, let's see, what other functionality? Any, any changes that a candidate makes to their resume, I'll see. And a lot of that will come up on the dashboard too to check the activity. And then here's my mailbox. And so I can go from there or I can go back to the home screen and click mailbox. So view all messages will show me any messages that as an advocate I'm sending back and forth with another advocate in my organization or with the candidates I'm working with. So here you can see, like when I showed you from Jane Job Seekers profile that she was talking to two advocates at once, I'm one of those. And so Susie from Inclusively, so let's say somebody else from ACC and one of the students and I are all in a chat. Um, this is what it would look like from the advocates angle. And then other ones you'll get will be, um, let's see, from Inclusively staff, this is the first message you'll get as an advocate in your, in your mailbox. Thank you for joining Inclusively. We're thrilled to welcome you. Step one is to get your job seeker or student signed up so you can connect and work together. And that's the, the most important part. For um, advocates, you can always contact us or contact me here by typing, you know, replying to this message or advocate at inclusively.com as an email. Um, and let's see, the advocates can also go up and see the community portal the same way as the candidates. They have the same um, way of doing a job search as the candidates. You can go find the jobs to share. And um, let's see. I'll go back, this is in the community. So you can post and follow any of these topics and you'll be notified if one of your candidates posts in the community portal. I'm gonna go back to home. You can also, also click inclusively to get there to the dashboard. So you can see your candidates, your new messages or any messages in your mailbox, any community updates. You'll see some of the, like a summary of the same thing that'll be in notifications, candidate activity here. Recently added jobs, and this will populate based on, you know, anything that you're choosing to follow your candidates on. It'll start to get more and more intelligent. And any helpful resources, these are sort of discussions, you know, things that Inclusively is participating in, in terms of disability and employment, um, just, you know, different um, topics that might be of interest to you or your students. And that's... Um, that is most of, uh, of the functionality. The, the employer portal, I would also be happy to um, show you a bit of if that's helpful now, but I was figuring that it's probably more students and advocates um, today. Um, does, let's see, does anybody else have another question? Um, we don't know. have any employers with us today, Megan, but this has been fantastic okay. information. Well, it's, it's in, you know, we've, we're, um, I'm really excited about the new product um, team and, and some of the engineers that we've brought on are just amazing. And the whole community, one in four of our community has some sort of a disability. Um, and we've been working with, uh, you know, amazing user test or, um, user testing partners and, and others to try to make this as successful as possible. And just to think about all the different, um, you know, needs that different kinds of learners or uh, employees might have. And so, the more of you that have any feedback or questions, obviously the one thing to mention is that we started with five partners um, in that were sort of, they we, we were introduced to the head of Microsoft's Neurodiversity at Work program. And they had a really stellar program with a lot of, I think it was like a couple thousand candidates that were in their system looking for jobs, but they didn't have enough jobs for. And Neil Barnett, who runs that program, when, we, when our founder met him, he said, you know, we really have always been looking for something like inclusively to exist because we have unbelievable talent coming to us and not enough jobs. Would you like to help us place these job seekers to get started? And so because a lot of those job seekers for their roles were in sort of the more um, IT, computer science, software development area, we, um, or those were the jobs that they were particularly looking for at Microsoft, we kind of started 
with a lot more of the employers we were going to listing those kinds of jobs. So we've been back, we've been, you know, pedaling hard to try to, to get as many types of jobs on the site as possible since starting sort of more skewed towards that area. And so also any of the career counselors, anybody at ACC that's working with companies that you think do a great job of inclusive hiring, you know, we want to um, offer this to as many employers as possible because of the education and the community that will help buttress sort of the, what they're working on helps support them towards, you know, reaching their goals and being more inclusive and, and finding great talent, which ACC has a lot of. Um, so uh, please don't get discouraged if you don't see jobs that fit your interests yet. We're really trying hard to get them up uh, to, to, to broaden as much as possible, as quickly as possible. But knowing that the employers that we bring on are fully committed to um, creating an experience that enhance, you know, that really leads their, their employees to success. That's great information. We have one time for one final question that came in the chat box. Unless um, I say one final question, we've got a few minutes left. But um, John did have a question about. Um, he said he doesn't know much about Indeed, but how does inclusively compare contrast to Indeed and other job search engines? Yeah, thank you for that question. We are actually our CEO is going to meet with Indeed soon to talk through kind of the parts that um, are you know, the ways that we could work together. But basically what, what differentiates inclusively from Indeed is that inclusively is focused and started off trying to connect talent, you know, specifically on accommodations, what we call success enablers, because we think the tools that can help employers understand how best to support their employees and create for them a work environment that isn't, you know, doesn't weed them out. Like if, for instance, you know, there have been lots of different stories we've had uh, heard or even heard from our employers in their in the past where they've, you know, somebody has a gap in their resume or doesn't have the exact education someone's looking for, they're weeded out or through an, an applicant tracking system. That's that's the name for what a lot of companies use, these automated filtering um, mechanisms to like choose their candidates because it's at such a large scale. Um, a lot of uh, what Indeed does is they're still trying to build, they're trying to educate and be part of a discussion of forward thinking, you know, inclusive employers, but they don't allow for um, accommodations and specific needs or inclusive like assistive technologies to be part of the conversation when hiring someone. And we think that these um, aspects of personalization in your job search are actually really important to lead to long-term success because we want you know, it doesn't mean that somebody who's a student who's applying for a job on inclusive is going to stay at that job forever, but we at least want to set you up so that you have a starting experience that builds you up instead of, um, you know, that um, even if it's not, if it doesn't stay your area of interest, at least it's allowing you to grow in the ways that really work for who you are. Um, and so Indeed's really interested in what we're doing uh, in this area and Indeed has, all, has worked with companies to help. They've really been good at at large scale at bringing all different kinds of jobs into this one place, but it's not personalized and the employers don't have a lot of account um, accountability. And so because inclusively only, we don't pull the jobs and just host them on our site, we sign up an employer as a partner and then work directly with the hiring manager to make sure of what their workplace is like, what are their practices, you know, it's, it's much more hands-on. And that way we can track if they're making progress and actually being inclusive or not, because Indeed's done an amazing thing in terms of bringing scale to the job seekers, but still people are falling through the cracks. And if you know there's this high of unemployment for people with different kinds of disabilities across all different types, then something's still missing from this puzzle. So, I agree, and the, and that's a fantastic um, illustration of how the benefits of inclusively and how it's very tailored it's a customized experience it's got wraparound services and then of course we've got samantha on the call who uh, can help students guide them through the system and make sure they're connected are there any other questions for megan and and one thing is any other questions about sort of connecting to your advocate or working with an advocate too because we really that's a missing piece in sort of this whole conversation uh we don't want you to ever get stuck when you're thinking through it, you know, any of these pieces, part of it is a learning experience anyway in looking for a job. But um, if you're working with a career counselor to connect to them and work together on your, um, your resume, just having a good starting point 
you'll learn along the way. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have it all there, but um, we think that, you know, talking to your career counselor about what, what might set you up best um, is, is take advantage of that. And so we would really like for you to, you don't have to connect to an advocate, but we think it's um, to your advantage if, um, if uh, that could help you build, build confidence. Absolutely, I agree with that. And um, Samantha, did you wanna come on and say hello real quick? And then we're going to have to pause after Samantha's introduction and do our prize drawing for the event. Sure, um, I'm Samantha Thompson. Uh, I am part of the student, student experience and outcomes department as a success coach. And I'm working with uh, neurodiverse students um, on things like career assessment. That's um, a new career assessment that we're using is called U Science using brain games and having those discussions with students to connect them and make sure they're headed the right direction. Um, and then connecting you with additional resources uh, such as inclusively and other resources that you might uh, wanna have um, in, your you know, in your back pocket for um, volunteering or building that resume, um, working towards employment and then helping you work with employers on you know, accommodating you. So um, feel free to contact me if you need support or help. Um, I'm going to put my email in the chat. Yes, I'll put mine as well, Samantha, just so that anybody who, who has any you know specific questions, if it's not me who can answer it, it may be our talent team who's working mm -hmm. more closely with candidates. But yeah. um, for sure. So just feel free to reach out to me with any questions or if you need some supports or if you want to be connected with anything in the college, I'm pretty resourceful. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha, and thank you, Megan. So I'm gonna share my screen real quick. This is one of those that we're talking a lot about Indeed. Indeed is actually sponsoring the prize giveaways for Career Ready Week. Um, so we will, let me share my screen real quick um, and we'll get started. So thank you to our partners at Indeed. Yeah. Also, we, we value inclusively. There's a platform for you. We also have internal platforms for students. Um, we're currently on CareerLink. We are making a change to a new technology called Handshake that we're rolling out in um, May. And so inclusively is just part of this. This is for you that has those additional supports. But for now, our prize drawing is sponsored by Indeed. So thank you Indeed for providing the laptops for Career Ready Week. So everyone who has attended today and is still on the call has been entered for a prize drawing of a laptop with one year free Wi-Fi. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to hand it over to Christine, who's going to spin the wheel to see who our winner may be. Christine. Okay, can you all see my screen? Yes. All right, I'll spin the yes. wheel. All right, is everybody ready? Let's see who our winner is going to be today. Who could it be? Who could it be? Who could it be? John! Woo! John M. Congratulations, John. You are our prize winner for this session. If you could please send a, a Sandy a private message on here, just send it directly to John, I mean to Sandy. ACC underscore Sandy and let her have your email address and your phone number and she will contact you with how we can get this prize to you. Christine, thank you. That was an exciting prize drawing. Thank you for all our attendees today. The contact information is in the chat box still for Samantha and Megan. We thank you so much for presenting. We also have more events coming up. John, did you have a question? No, I just wanted to say thanks to all of you guys and Megan. Uh, Pura Vida. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. I appreciate it. It's a wonderful place on earth down here. Our next session today for Career Ready Week starts at, let me see what time does it start? Um, lost on LinkedIn. So for those of you who haven't navigated LinkedIn and you need to know how to get started, our next session will be at noon today. We hope to see you there for another opportunity to win. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Trish. You Take care. Thank you. Yes, again. noon, Todd. We'll see you then. Bye.